Hello friends, in this video we will learn the theory of a JOR gate and we will design it on breadboard. Here is the logic symbol of a JOR gate. A JOR gate has two input terminals. We have considered as A and B and one output terminals that we have considered here O. And this is the truth table of a JOR gate. We can see when we apply 0 at terminal A and 0 at terminal B then the output is 0. When we apply 0 at terminal A and 1 at terminal B, then the output is 1. Similarly, when we apply 1 here and 0 at B, then output should be 1. And when we apply 1, 1 on both the input terminals, then the output should be 0. That means for a ZOR gate, when both the inputs are same, same means when we apply 0 at terminal A, and also 0 at terminal B, then the output is always 0. Similarly, when we apply 1 at terminal A and also 1 at terminal B, then the output is also 0. But if both the inputs are not same, means if we apply 0 at A then and 1 at B, then the output is 1. Similarly, if 1 at B and 0 at a that means both the inputs are not same then we will get one at the output here is the diagram of a jorget ic the number of jorget ic is 7486 here from this diagram we can see that in a jorget ic there are four jorgets one two three four we will use this first jorget that means one and two are the input for this first JOR gate and 3 is the output of this JOR gate. So when we, here is the IC. When we keep this IC like this, that means by keeping this cut mark to the left side, then the first pin of this IC becomes pin number 1. That means this one 1, then next one is 2, 3 like this and this one is ground pin. That means pin number 7 is always ground for JOR gate IC. Then for 7, 4, 8, 6. Then this one is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. The last one is 14. We have to connect it to VCC. That means we have to connect it to positive terminal of our battery and ground to uh, negative terminal or ground terminal of our battery. So first we will insert this IC into our breadboard by keeping this cut mark to the left side. So this one is pin 1 and the last one is 7 and this last one is 14. So this first seven p pin number seven should be connected to ground. We will connect it to this row. Sorry, from here to from here to this first row. That means this row up to this. So so that we can use this row as ground row, and we will connect the pin number fourteen to this row so that we will use this row as VCC row from this diagram we can see that 1 and 2 are the input so we will connect two wires at 1 and 2 and we will connect an LED at pin number 3 that is at the output terminal to observe the output. So we will first insert two wires at pin A1 and 2. This one 1 and this one 2. Okay. Now we will connect an LED at pin number 3. For this LED we have to use a 100 ohm resistor. So we will connect the one terminal of the resistor to pin number 3 then another terminal we have to connect it to any point of breadboard then from the terminal we have to connect the positive terminal of our battery of our led the longer one is positive and negative terminal we have to connect it to the ground by a single stand wire okay now our circuit is ready now we have to insert the battery to our circuit we have to insert the positive terminal of our battery to our positive 
VCC row and negative terminal of our battery to ground row. We can use a battery of 4 volt or 4.5 volt or 5 volt or 6 volt but the recommended voltage is 5 volt. You can use also this type of battery, this type of 9 volt battery because these type of batteries are commonly available at the market but here the battery is 9 volt so we have to convert this 9 volt to 5 volt or 6 volt by using different techniques if you don't know how to do this then you can watch our video the link is given in the description of this video but here we are using a 4 volt battery so we have connected the positive terminal to this bc0 and we will connect the negative terminal to this ground row so now it is connected okay now our circuit is ready now from this truth table we can see when a is 0 0 means we have to connect it to ground row that means we have to connect it to any point of this row that we have connected here then we b is 0 0 means we have to connect it to also 0 so we can see the output is now 0 that means the led is now off then for the second set of input when a is 0 0 means we have to connect it to ground it is already co connected to ground and b is 1 in this case we can see b is 1 1 means we have to connect it to bcc now we can see the output is now 1 that means the led is now on for the third set of inputs input when a is 0 that sorry when a is 1 that means we have to connect it to bc0 and when b is 0 0 means we have to connect it to ground at that case the output is now 1 so here also 1 then now for the last a is 1 b is 1 that means a is connected to bcc and b has to be connected to also bcc in this case the output should be 0 so now here also 0 that means the led is now off so the truth table is verified so thank you for watching. If you like our videos, then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also buy electronics, components, projects, sensors, modules from our website www.dpvtechnology.com. Thank you.